Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Moose, and it's gonna be a fight prediction video of Jorge Masvidal versus Gilbert Burns. So let's get right into it. All right, so there's been a lot of talk about Jorge Masvidal fighting Gilbert Burns. They didn't sign like the contracts or whatever yet, but like apparently they did like a verbal agreement between each other. So when they're saying this fight po might possibly be happening sometime in 2023, we don't know yet. Maybe earlier. Like nobody knows, but like there's like a lot of like hearsay. So my prediction is. I think Gilbert Burns would um KO Masvidal or just completely dominate Masvidal. I think Gilbert Burns would probably knock out Masvidal in the second or third round. Um, but I definitely think it will be it'll end by KO, probably like the second round, end of the second round. You know, I think he has way more power than Masvidal. You know, I think he's a way better grappler than Masvidal. Obviously, his cardio isn't that good, but it'll be a three round fight, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, and I think um yeah Masvidal's gonna get smoked, and then I think Masvidal should um. End up retiring real soon because if he, if he loses against Gilbert Burns, that's four fights in a row that he lost. I'm just saying, if that was somebody else in the UFC that lost four fights in a row, they would probably end up getting they'll get cut from the UFC. Now, that's not a popular opinion because Mazdal is really famous, but let's be honest, if it was like someone else, you know, you know, like for instance, I, I just think Gilbert Burns, like, because like, Gilbert Burns almost beat Hamza Chimaev, he, he like did good against Usman, and I think. I think if it was if it was Masvidal versus Hamza Chimaev, like he would get smoked. Like he would have no chance against Hamza Chimaev. You know, and Gilbert Burns almost beat Hamza. You know, but what's your opinion, Mister Moose? Yeah, um, I don't see how Masvidal like has a chance to win this fight. I I just don't see how could he, he could even pull off an upset against who Gilbert Burns. Yeah. So, so you think he's gonna lose? Yeah, he's probably gonna get knocked out. You know, it's not really. So, a, what's your prediction though? It's not a surprise. Uh, you know, he's gonna get KO'd. You know, that's it. KO like flatlined. Yeah. What what round? If it's it's a three round fight. Probably second round. Second round, he'll get KO'd. Yeah. yeah. So you, you think Mazel can get straight KO'd by Gilbert Burns? Yeah. yeah. So you don't think Mazel can KO Gilbert Burns at all? Uh no no, it's not gonna work out for Mazel at all. It's like you're basically feeding it. You're feeding him basically. Skiller so. Burns. Yeah. You know, I think they're friends or something behind the scenes. I think, you know, I think it's possible for Moswell to knock out Gilbert Burns, but I think it's like 70, 80% chance that Gilbert Burns knocks out Moswell in the second round. Don't get me wrong, it's not like Moswell can't physically knock out Gilbert Burns. Wow. But, you know, but like I think Gilbert Burns is way more well rounded than him. I think his grappling's better than Moswell's. I think he's just bigger and stronger. He's gonna, he's gonna like manhandle Moswell. And I think he's gonna like with the power thing is gonna hurt him. I just think obviously I think Mazda's cardio is better though. I would say that. But it's a three round fight, so it doesn't really matter. You know, I I think Gilbert Burns has like a really good gas tank for like the first two rounds. He starts to slow down the third, but I think by then Mazda will, will be all fucked up. I think Mazda will get hurt. Whoever fights Gilbert Burns, notice they always get hurt. Like Hamza Chimaya was fucking hurt when he fought Gilbert Burns. He, he's, like even though he had like a little cut only or whatever, he was bleeding. But like he hit him so hard you you can tell like like, like, Hamza Shemayev almost got knocked out by Gilbert Burns. You, you can tell he got rocked. Like, his, his brain was, like, shaking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sure Hamza Shemayev got hurt by um Gilbert Burns. So I think Mazo will end up getting super-duper, like, like damaged if he ends up fighting Gilbert Burns. I don't think it's a good fight for Mazo to fight. No, it's not. And, if you know, any off chance that Mazo could even win this match, you know, he could hopefully get back on the train track, you know, maybe... You know, have a good year, two years left maximum, and then he might just, you know, either join another organization or call it quits. But he's like 37, 38. Happening, so I, I would say that it's just going to be another. All right. So, who do you, who, yeah. So, I mean, I think I think there's a lot. Like, nowadays, I feel like the welterweight division is so stacked. Like, Mazel really has no chance against a lot of the dudes. Like, yeah. like even Lee against Leon Edwards, you know, against Usman. You know, against Hamza, Gilbert Burns, like all these Colby, you know, rematch or whatever. Like all these guys are just saying the like, top five or whatever. Mazda can't beat any of these dudes. Mazda needs to verse, verse like a striker. And even then, I feel like he won't even do that good anymore. He's he's like almost 40 years old. I think Mazda needs to like, it's how to say it. I would say he needs to either retire or go to Bellator or bare knuckle. Maybe Mazda and bare knuckle would be good. And also like, I always said that he's a small welterweight. Like the other welterweights are kind of like, are so much bigger than him. He used to be a lightweight, obviously. Now he fights. He's been fighting well for a while, but he's still a small. Like he's a small dude. Like I, I can, I can definitely see Mazal. He's a good boxer, so I could definitely see Mazal on bare knuckle. I want to, I want to see, I want to see Mazal on bare knuckle, but not versus people that are bigger than him. Like you know, like I feel like Gilbert Burns physically is bigger than him. I think Gilbert Burns, like, will manhandle him. I don't think Mazal has any chance. Like I said, twenty percent chance. And yeah, I think, I, I think as I heard they're trying to make this fight. Like, whoever's trying to make this fight, like I feel like. Whoever Masvidal's um 
manager is, um, yeah, I don't think he has Masvidal's best interests in, at heart because I feel like he's gonna he's gonna give Masvidal some brain damage, bro. Gilbert Burns, nobody wants to fight Gilbert Burns. Notice that, like a lot of people avoid Gilbert Burns because like no matter what, Gilbert Burns is dangerous to anybody because he is so hard. He's like a dangerous fight for everybody. He was, he reminds me of like Yoel Romero. Like even if Yoel Romero kept losing, he was like a dangerous fight. Like like Joe Rogan said, I think he's like nobody comes out of that fight like unscathed, unscratched. You know, like even if they, the people beat Yoel Romero, they beat Gilbert Burns. They still, they come out of those fights with damage. Or people that fight Paul Costa, most of those guys come out damaged. You know, like yeah, they might beat Paul Costa, Yoel Romero, Gilbert Burns, but they still take mad damage in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you're sacrificing like your body for a win. But, you know. Yeah, after Masvidal is done with the UFC, you know, maybe his best chance is really to get into one of Jake Paul's promotions and get a nice... Yeah, that's not happening. Get, get a nice payout. Uh, they're not, they're, they're, they hate each other. Yeah, they hate each other. Not, but, they might know. fight each other next. I think I think Masvidal and Jake Paul might end up fighting each other. Well, there you go. That, Jake Paul needs another 40-year-old, yeah. almost retired fighter to fight, and Masvidal's on... He needs money. Yeah, yeah, Masvidal needs money, and Jake yeah. Paul needs, yeah. needs to beat up another retired fighter that's it's, almost 40. It's a perfect fit, really. Think about Bro, it's like it's like Cinderella putting on the shoe. Yeah. Perfect fit, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't know why I made that pair. We, we see that in the next year or two. That's that, a possibility. And then yeah. it'd be funny if Mazo and Nassau Jake. That'd be so funny. Uh, what do you think? Uh, nah, I don't think so. I really don't. But yeah, Jake, it might, Jake, be a, might be a decision match, but we'll see. No, nah, I think I think Jake could probably. Jake is big. He's a, he's a middleweight, and he cuts down from like two hundred. And Mazo, I think, walks around like a one like one eighty five, one eighty seven. Yeah. Yeah, so Jake Paul will probably beat Mazo, but that'll still be a good fight. I still, I still want to see that, I guess. Yeah. But that's um, a hype yeah. One. That's hype. But anyways, guys, me, Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Moose. Please like, comment, subscribe. Be safe, everybody. All right, take care.